You know, and a couple of weeks ago, everything was blooming here in <laughs> East Texas. Yes. And with our up and down temperatures that we're dealing with yeah. constantly right now, it's just a bad combination for allergy sufferers. No, it, it is not good at all. And blooming, blooming. Yes, and then it stops it because you get a cold front mm -hmm. and then it attempts to bloom again. It comes back. Yeah, it's yeah. that cycle for us and we're going to continue with up and down weather the next few days. We've got another cold front tomorrow night into Thursday. Actually, a few more fronts expected the next few days before by next week. We're going to warm back up for us. Let me show you a look at the pollen count here at this point. It's low at this time, low to medium category. Our top concern ragweed, juniper and grass, but with temperatures going up and down and fluctuating, yeah, we're going to continue to see more of this pollen concern over the next week or so and essentially continuing right on through the rest of the fall season. Look at the temperatures tomorrow 76 cold front arriving Wednesday night and the Thursday will end the week with temperatures in the 60s cooler as well with a northwest wind moving in. Look at today we had sunshine late this afternoon. Not everybody able to see this off to the east. We certainly have seen more clouds tonight. We've looked at that sky becoming mostly clear as the sun set for us here about 525 this afternoon. Here are the clouds right now. Those are really noted in deep east Texas. We've had some cloud breaks, but it's the thickest right now down to the southeast. The rest of us with a mainly clear sky 59 Marshall, Palestine, Jacksonville 64. Same for Gilmer and Mineola. Deep east Texas 66 in center and Lufkin. Hemphill at 64. Nacogdoches right now you're at a temperature of 65 degrees. Now clouds will roll back in overnight tonight along with some patchy fog that'll happen this evening. Temperatures in the morning into the mid and the upper 50s for us with a light southeast wind and during the day tomorrow expect a lot of clouds and if you're going to be outside the breeze may have an impact for some of your plants southerly. 15 to near 20. We could have some brief higher gusts temperatures reaching the lower and mid 70s. The bulk of the day on Wednesday is going to remain dry. It's Wednesday overnight in the early Thursday morning that will look for the storm chances and even a risk for an isolated strong thunderstorm. Storm Prediction Center right now marginal risk Hopkins rains Van Zant County. I can see this nudge a bit more to the east cannot rule out an isolated tornado, but I think the primary concern will be for some damaging wind gusts. Look at future cast here. There's 10 o'clock. The line of storms moving in initially it holds there, but then it continues to hold its strength along the leading edge. That's where our wind gust potential will be the maximum in our east and northeast areas going into early Thursday morning. Quick moving system. We won't see a lot of rain out of this. Maybe some locations getting close to an inch of precipitation. By Veterans Day, the sun is back out and we're cooler with a northwest wind. Highs on Friday and Saturday stay in the 60s. We'll try to get to near 70 Sunday before another cold front <coughs> moves in. For Deep East Texas, rain chances late Wednesday night heading into Thursday. Then things dry out and cool down to end the week.